with that. I don't want to make any promises, but we'll see. All right. Now let's do a couple of topics. We're going to bring on Durst the Worst uh, here in a moment. Uh, do you know Durst the Worst? I'm familiar with him. Yeah, actually, um, Jim brought him up on the show. God, what episode was that? It, it was a while ago, but it was when MythCon was going on. You remember MythCon? Yeah. I the mean, disaster that was MythCon? Yeah. Why don't we just well, bring him on? Because since I told him that anyway, 1015, I guess I should yeah. just stick to what I said, right? That's how you're supposed to do business is what they told me. Exactly. Right on the dot. You're not supposed to be uh, late and gay, Ralph. Oh, wow. <laughs> a lot of people let make a lot of exceptions for me, <laughs> thankfully, I have to say. Um, thank you very much for those exceptions. And thank you, Dirk's the Worst, for coming on the kill stream, sir. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot for having me, dude. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. All right, now let me turn you down just a little bit. Um, also, oh, let, me, let me do this because I think I saved save some of the stuff that you wanted to talk about on uh, this pretty interesting story. It kind of goes in with a little bit of uh, deplatforming and stuff like that. What I do with that fucking shit. Uh, I'll find it here in a second, but anyway, introduce yourself. Gator gave a little bit of background, very small amount. Tell people who you are. We have a lot of shit to cover tonight, so we might uh, go over a couple of those topics with you as well. Uh, so we can knock those out, uh, get you a couple questions, let you get your interview segment in here. Uh, but go ahead and tell people who you are, how you got here since you've never been on the show before. Oh, yeah, my name's Dan Durst. I go by Durst the Worst on YouTube. I basically started, I want to say, like four years ago on YouTube. Uh, I, got, I, I, like a lot of people, got frustrated with the direction that the left was going. I was a former liberal myself. Um, and I just decided to go out and document a lot of this crazy stuff with, like, Milo and the Proud Boys and Antifa and all that stuff. Um, and I kind of remember at the time, it just seemed like fun in games or half fun in games. Like, we felt like we were kind of winning. But now, <laughs> with, with the way shit's going now, I don't think this is funny anymore. Like, um, I had, you know, local corporate media basically run a hit piece on me, lying, saying that I uh, was racially chiding these uh, BLM activists in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, just, just to screw with them. They left out, like, half the story. Um, and uh, as a result, my uh, Patreon page has been taken down. My uh, Teespring page has been taken down mailing list taken down like a lot of people um you know leading up to this election in november uh i don't foresee half of us even really having a platform uh you know i'm not not the first one to point this out but um yeah i don't know basically I just get out there and i, I document well damn these, say these something bangers. nice come on wait we're still gonna be here somehow don't say that we're gonna be here somehow <laughs> don't listen to durst We'll figure out a way. <laughs> Subscribe to the podcast feed. I will tell you that. Killstream.live as well. I'm not giving up, Durst. Go ahead, though. Yeah, definitely subscribe, bitch, to me too, bitch. But uh, no, but I, I, I definitely, I, I think that it's important for more people to get out there. Maybe, maybe not how, I mean, given how dangerous it is, but document how absolutely psychotic the left is and how just dishonest and violent they are. Now, I, I've seen this impending... Uh, tidal wave of just wanton destruction that they've been fomenting in the streets and uh basically i just started doing this channel as, as a duration that it seemed like nobody around me understood how fucked these people were and how much power they had how much bankster uh corporate funding they had to just basically be a a, a a you know just a bankster funded commie street thug army you know all right now let me so, let me read this. Uh, Greedo Milk linked a YouTube video, and he says, at Dick. Is that what he wants Dick to sing on Friday? I think that might have been what he meant. Uh, Asmador with the host. Thank you, Ash. Appreciate that, man. Harrod Silva TG says, is this the mic you, you use for YouTube? They're asking me? Yeah. I mean, he was asking you. I didn't ask you. He paid me uh, to ask yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, he's saying like your, shit or something? Yeah, he's saying your mic's not good, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of an onboard mic, man. Yeah, it's pretty, uh... <laughs> they do that. They say mean things to the guests sometimes. They pay me to say it to you, actually. Um, yeah, well, they're all a bunch of limp dick pansies, so it's cool. All right, now, let's play. That's not going to help. All right, now, <laughs> let's, uh, let me play this first video, the uh, WISN12. This is the piece they ran on you, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, no. and then after that you can play the actual video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna play. We're gonna play that one too. Yeah, we're gonna play that one too. Um, but let's play. Let's play this video. Hold on. 
Uh, we'll play this one first. I linked it in the show links. Again, you won't be able to hear it over my headset, so you'll have to pull it up yourself. Although I'm pretty sure you, you've seen it a few times. But um, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and play it. It's at all zeros. I'm going to hit it right now. At a Black Lives Matter protest Sunday in Menominee Falls, 38-year-old Gab Taylor says their peaceful message was muddied by a man who followed them, taunting them and making racial slurs. He started saying that we were uncivilized and he was screaming at us, telling us to shut up. Um, Black lives don't matter. All right, wait, wait, we're going to play. We're going to play. You know, tell it to the gangbangers. Um... And then once that didn't really piss us off, then he called us monkeys and started making monkey noises. What's your name? Hey, what's your name? Hey, what's your name? You're antagonizing us. Taylor says the man started calling her and others uncivilized monkeys and making monkey noises. Police asked him to leave. His language was Wait a minute. inciting a riot. <laughs> what was going through your mind in that moment? A lot. Um, because the, the point of us being out there, like, he kind of is a representation of why we were even marching in the first place. I was, like, you know, going back and forth with him the entire two or three hours we were out there. He never said any of that stuff to me. So to go to two young women, which he probably thought were teenagers or something, um, and to say those things to them and not someone like me, that shows the type of person that, that he is. You are the definition of why we are marching. You are the definition of the oppression that we feel. And you come out there and antagonize broken, hurt people. Sarah joins us live here once again. Sarah, what do we know about wow, the, the man reporters are hotty, though, I gotta say that. with those protesters? I can fix this, by the way. Hold on. Well, Ben, we know he has a small following on social media. He was streaming that well, protest I mean, it's line, which included following. a lot of racist commentary. Now, I did reach out to that man in the video for comment, but he hasn't responded. Ben. All right. Now, again, Smasher. I, I, yeah, I bet they reached out for a comment. Smasher pass chat on the reporter. Obviously, um, I think we know what the... <laughs> what the answer is there right um anyway oh, yeah. i already see chat going <laughs> off yeah okay. okay so yeah i'm oh, sorry go ahead yeah basically basically what we have here is a whole lot of lies of omission uh and misusage of words like incitement which the left likes to do a lot they, they basically accused me of trying to incite a riot but what we had there was a whole crowd of these blm fuckers that guy vaughn mays that they interviewed in there who said that uh he was talking to me the whole time that dude was actually indicted on charges of like uh, conspiracy to fucking Molotov, a West Allis, Wisconsin police station, and uh, a couple of other uh, houses, like residences, actually. And uh, he was the guy leading the the, the you know the chants and the, and the marches through this suburban area. I was just documenting it, going back and forth with these people about like you know crime statistics and just debunking the BLM stuff. And uh, yeah, and in the next videos you'll see, you'll see them swarming around people, harassing them, threatening their jobs. You know, we got your license plates. Uh, we know where you live. Threats like that. But of course, of course, corporate media left it out. And then uh, you'll see in the other video that I try to engage with them. They shout me down. They swarm around people, start with the threats and everything. And, you know, I'll admit I, uh, I, I snapped a little bit. Uh, I, I went a little over the top, but... Um, Lies of omission. Oh, geez, leopard, leopard print. I'm, yeah. so, oh my God. I'm listening. I just, I'm just showing the reporter as well. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm listening to you. It's, it's a hard, it's a hard pass for me, obviously. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I completely understand in your case. Um, that's that makes complete sense. Um, all right. No, oh she God. seems like the type of girl that would uh, talk about how racism is bad in the streets, <laughs> but it's great in the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> she probably wants to dress up like freaking SS officer and provide mock fry or something. I don't know. <laughs> like All right, that, now she's into that freaky stuff. Now I'm about to uh, pull up the other video. There's a picture of her with the Pillsbury Doughboy, which is. Which is strange. Oh she, shit! Then that means I've got a in, chance. She's then. in with fat dude. Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> um. Now, let's see. I have the other video. Let me look here. It's in. Okay, the first one. So I play the first one. How long are they? I didn't actually look that up. Hold on. Let me see. I'm not sure, but I mean, you could sort of go around and get the idea. There was one showing them That's swarming it. around, like thre threatening these dudes for basically flying the American flag, you know, and or also just re regular random bystanders. Okay. Threatening, go you know. 
Go to let's see. Um, let's just, yeah, watch, just one. let's just watch some of it. Go yeah. to 16 seconds into the first one. Oh, uh, send me the uh, the link. This one, yeah, this is the one. <laughs> All right, let's hear, go. You're gonna, gonna hear the phrase "musty ass dick energy" in this video. <laughs> All right, 16 seconds. Let's go ahead and hit it right now. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Hey, this is what supremacy looks like. 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 That is what supremacy looks like. That is what supremacy looks like. Are they just calling out? This is what supremacy looks like. Wait, let me pause it at 46 seconds. What exactly is the supremacist thing going on here? I mean, he was waving the hey, American he, flag. He, he, it's like a dude with the flag. You see, see that he ribbed his feet just now? He's like, this is what supremacy looks like. Yeah, I'm not really seeing a lot of supremacy there. Um, all right, let's go ahead and continue at 46 seconds right now. We got their address. Now, let's pause it one on one and note that the, uh, uh, the black chick appears to be like singing and uh, sing sing songing voice about uh, about having the addresses of these people. All right, one on one. Let's continue right now. that's a white chick. Oh, that's a white chick saying that, by the way. All right, let me turn this down. By the way, I believe that's probably a copyrighted tune there. Um, they're just what is going on here anyway? They're just blocking the road. Like, what is this? Just they're just rolling through Menominee Falls, Wisconsin to fuck with white people. That's what it is. This is you a know? bizarre outing. God, they're... those white chicks are fat. Good lord. Yeah, it looks like T clips over there. Like, holy shit, this bitch is. Big bitch just strolling down the street. Oh my god. Uh, we'll get to that later. I'm getting ahead of myself. But uh Why are you it... taking your mask down if you're afraid of the teeth? You all the way have this. <laughs> Let's turn it back up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that snoz, dude. <laughs> 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 Imagine you walked out of your house and this was just going on in the middle of your street. Like. Jesus Christ, that guy's a full-on <laughs> glitter shitter. Oh, just imagine this was... Look at this! This is going on in the middle of your street. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't even... Oh, man. This is America in 2020, huh? All right, let me turn it back up. Well, the music, very loud music being played. Yeah, it was a pack of the bears. People out, of course. That looks like T-Clips for real. It's, his, it's history, whether... Uh, oh, I thought that was a white chick in blackface. It was a, a <laughs> black chick. That's T-Clips hiding behind 18 filters. That was in front of my house. I'd get freaking. Uh, oh yeah! By the way, hose. by the way, they're singing "Fuck Donald Trump." All right. I, okay. Well, is there a certain part I don't want to watch this whole thing? It's making me sick. Is there a certain part I should like skip to though? Um. Well, you pretty much get the idea. The gist yeah, of this I think one we there. get the gist of. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the, the bitch was now, out there saying you're gonna get fired. 
Now uh, let me we've ask got your you, license plate. We've got your docs. Let's play devil's hey. advocate, though. Did you did you start making monkey noises? Did you say you know arguably racist things or anything like that? Well, let me let me just fucking okay. So this this was leading up to when I admittedly I did snap a little bit, but if okay. you if you look at the next video, Based. okay, all right. We're swarming around this dude, shot him down. You know, he had an American flag T-shirt. He was trying to reason with them about the whole, you know, the idea that, you know, to put, put their mind at ease that uh, cops are really not hunting them down. If you look at the statistics, you know, that sort of thing that we've been basically arguing about for the past seven fucking years, this BLM crap, and they still don't get it, right? And uh, they're just shouting him down, swarming around him. They started doing it to me, right? And uh, I did snap, and I was like, "You're just uncivilized. <laughs> You're just uncivilized, you know." Because I mean, to me, it's I, <laughs> if you I used might... you said a few more things. Let's just, I mean, I, I'm just wondering. Like, I'm not saying that they weren't in your shit. Like, I just have to ask for the record. I mean, I don't want people to sit here and think I'm just like completely. Yeah. You know. I mean, dude, listen. I might actually be a literal sperm because I don't fucking understand why. I, I simply don't <laughs> understand why I can't fuck. Why I can't fucking say that. I can't, I say that, you know what I mean? I, like, I'm not making a moral judgment on it. I'm just saying was that you did, there was some type of altercation. You did say certain things to them as all, you know, um, that's all I'm asking. She, they didn't just fabricate she, that and, because and, that's and, happened. Like they tried and, to put a case on me a few weeks ago, getting off the plane. I shit you not. Uh, and said, I pushed somebody because I was trying to get down the aisle quicker than them. And when they were the, actually the ones pushing me and they had all kinds of bullshit made up. Now, thankfully nothing happened. But yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they did have some shit made up on you. So that's why I have they to also, ask. But it seems like you did get they also, into it. Also, they left out the fact that this like crazy chick in the next video that I, I hope you'll load up. Yeah, I'm about uh, to. She, sw she swings on me and breaks my property with a kid in her hand. She's basically using her kid as a human shield. And she starts stomping on my phone and shit. Really? And uh, yeah. You yeah, can actually see at the phone. end of the uh the news article, you could see like the broken uh the broken like camera stand. He was like putting away as he was walking away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was literally using her her mixed race kid with of course no dad in sight, uh as a as a human shield. Um oh, it's really, really revolting. Um and especially again, considering that corporate media lied by omission. All right. Burged out and I snapped, but it's not like I wasn't under legitimate duress. And you know, I've been doing this for four freaking years. Right. Um, I've usually kept my cool, but I, I just <laughs> I, I, I can hear I you getting understand. worked up even now. Just I understand. I, just it. <laughs> I can feel it. I know how I know how it goes. I can feel the anger. I, I can hear it in your voice, like you're getting more angry just thinking about it. You're kind of play, you're, you're playing like you know you're playing like uh, advocate here. It's kind of you know. <laughs> no, I, I have to disavow. I have to disavow. I have to disavow that commentary, and I'm starting to understand what, <laughs> what happened there. All right, uh, let's see. Subcultured said I wouldn't ask permission. I have to disavow that commentary as well. True S two says if you didn't say anything wrong, then sue for slander. Uh, Southern Dingo said, what is guest stance on white advocacy? Uh, Southern Dingo then says, please tell him it's not Chad's fault. His mic has, his mic has down syndrome. Uh, base Nibba says a twerk on white supremacy. Uh, Southern Dingo says, please ask guest why he's saltier than soy sauce at chat. Uh, what? No, I don't really give a fuck about chat. They're pretty funny. All right. Um, let me is see. There's another question, right? Say what? Uh, was there other questions? I forgot what they were. Something about advocacy. Oh, uh, yeah, white advocacy, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't really get into that too much. I, I do acknowledge that these guys are blatantly anti-white, though. I mean, that's that's blatantly obvious, you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've. I think we've said that on the show uh, before ourselves. Oh, yeah, they're, anti, they're, they're a completely anti-white organization. They just hate white people. Let's yeah. see. I mean, that, and that's worth pointing out. That's part of that's part of you know exposing these people that they have backing of corporate America, the bankster class, the corporate media class. In this instance, and in many other instances, academia. You know, it's, it's racism's allowed just as long as it's the quote unquote correct kind of racism. No, right. Racism isn't even fucking racism isn't even fucking real, dude. It's it, to get into that conversation is to lose it. There's no racism, man. How is, there, how is there racism if these people can run roughshod and do this kind of shit? What the fuck is there even racism? 
A helpful friend says, what happens when the Gollum turn on their masters? Triz2 says, every day is 2020. Every day is 2020. Every day is 2020. Triz2 said, he said that again. Every day is 2020. Every day is 2020. Every day is 2020. Uh, let's see. Also, we have entropy is up as well. I need to pull up stream elements in case we get something over there. Uh, okay. Also, we did get a couple over there, I believe. Oh, Cynical says, get Leafy is here on the show. Leafy, I have to get introduced to him or something because I talked to Kim about it. Leafy doesn't really know the kill stream that well. Um, and he's very selective about going on shows anyway. Kim got him. Yeah, our on. ascent kind of, uh, our ascent was kind of, uh, like while he wasn't Leafy around. Was away. Yeah, he wasn't really around. Um, but I have talked to Kim about it. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of like interview shows and shit, but I'll see. Definitely something I've thought about and inquired about. Southern Dingo says, please ask Esk why he won't take his own people's side. All right, Dingo. Why won't you take your own people's side? And Dingo's trying to rile you up, apparently. But go ahead. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I acknowledge that in-group preference is real. I mean, you know, in my life, I've implicitly or explicitly preferred mostly white dudes, dudettes. You know what I mean? But uh, I don't fucking know. It's like, just, just stick up for what's right, you know, and, and stick up against people that are being uh, shitty, like these people, and who have the backing of the establishment behind them. I think that, you know, as a general rule, that's probably the best way to go, right? Yeah, no. Uh, all right, let me pull up this second video as well, and we'll go ahead and play that. You got it pulled up. Uh, this is the second one, right? It's on June 17th. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's skip a little bit to... Um, is this where they break your... I guess we could probably play this whole thing. Let's go to 33 uh, seconds. And, all right, I'm there. Uh, are you guys ready? Yep. All right, let's hit it right now. You, you must understand, there's a difference between a martyr and a catalyst. You, you, must, you must understand, there's a difference between a martyr and a guy. It's nine a year, dude. It's like twenty, nine or twenty. It's just, dude. It's a statistically infinitesimally small number, bro. Oh God! Hey, let's hop in a time machine to make our point, I guess. So you got this from like Facebook advertising, like this is why you pretend. You're coming here telling us you can't protest our right. He's not saying you, you can't. You guys just don't look at all the statistics. Yeah, you, you imagine you, you, being a police you, officer, you, being threatened. How, how many people died? How many African Americans died? Please tell me. Like ten to twenty. Please tell me. 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 Please do they need to go? You 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 do they need to go? What? They need to go. Yeah, they need to go. No, we're not that antagonizing. We're not. 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 We're that's perfectly. That's their fucking right. You to do dumb so. bitch. Yeah, no shit. They're protesting the protest. They're called counter protesters, and that's very common. And it's not. Now, I know the police is obviously the police are like, all right, this might escalate. Let's just get one one side out of here. I completely sympathize with that and understand that. But uh, if you're on the scene, you wouldn't be as understanding, probably. Uh, go ahead, Thirst. Free speech doesn't include hate speech, Ralph. Oh, all right, let's hit it. 216, you ready? Yep. All right, let's hit it right now. Black Lives Matter! We're not moving for you. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! I got the law on my side. I no peace! Say. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! What do we want? Justice! Hold on. Now! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Justice! Back on, back on, back on. Now! Where's no 
They're yelling over me. They're yelling over him. That's not a conversation. Right. I'm going to turn it down again because they're why people dislike you blasting so music. So. Yeah. See, they do this so you can't hear the conversation. That's exactly why they do it. So they can say whatever shit they want to in the camera. It's hard for uh, the camera to pick it up. Okay, but you started harassing us. You said, I was trying to go home, and all of a sudden I got this big Okay, but you're bringing up the wrong point. You're bringing up the wrong point. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to say it. You don't have to You don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. You don't have to But you want to bring up the wrong point. But you want to bring up the wrong point. You don't have to bring up the wrong point. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Tell that to the gangbangers. Tell that to the gangbangers. No justice, no peace. Tell that to the blood. Tell that to the crib. Tell that to the four corner hustlers. Tell that to tell that to me. Don't tell that to me. Don't tell that to me. Don't tell that to me. No justice, no peace. Don't tell that to me. No justice. Telling you the truth. No justice. Telling you that it ain't. This is what we deal with. Interrupting me. Hey, uh, let's, let's pause at 11. You can't see this on the podcast, but they're crowding in around this guy. He's starting to get his personal space threatened. Also, it's two women uh, as well coming up on him. Um, now, they just, I just think they're, that's just their nature. I don't know that it was a setup necessarily. Um, you know, that's, they seem to be pretty boisterous uh, just by their own standards. Um, so I'm not saying it was necessarily set up, but when, when there's all these women crowd around, it's not like you can just push one of them off of you or, or whatever. Cause you're going to catch a charge just right there for that. All right. 40. Oh yeah. Four, they do that. They do that shit on purpose. Uh, this yeah, is a tactic I've, too. You notice yeah, he was recording I just don't know that if conversation. In this situation it was in part on purpose or not, but it might've been. Yeah. Go oh, ahead. I think they did it. I think they 100% did it on purpose because remember these people are trained. They use women and children as a human shield. And when he was trying to he was trying to capture the conversation between that other white guy and that uh, BLM protester. And, you notice they like cranked the music up to try to drown out their their talking. And then they sent in the women to try to, like, shove Durst away and, like, crowd around him. So it's pretty obvious that like, whatever was being said in that other conversation, they did not want that on record. All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue 411 right now. I mean, mid sentence because you're uncivilized. There's three different yeah, women. You are. you are uncivilized. We deal with this every day, and you guys don't. You're uncivilized people. You are uncivilized. I believe. I just want you to move so I can get to this guy. All right. We don't have to leave. We're just separating. No, you're protecting him. No. We're protecting man. everyone from everyone. No. Remove him from the whole situation. Why is that funny? Why don't you remove these people? Shut up! Shut your uppity ass up! Shut up! Uh, all right. Show your power! Going full uh, Ralph now. All right, let's turn it out a little bit. Uncivilized uh, monk. Get the uh, fuck away from oh. oh! Oh, shit! She did take a swing. She did take a swing, clearly. She did. She's trying to stop the phone, too, I see. Let's go. I don't know where to go, man. You got a mob on your hands, man. These people need to be. Well, let's get out of here, man. All right, we'll we'll go ahead and stop it there. I don't know what you're about to say there, but um, <laughs> he was getting that Ralph energy a little bit. <laughs> now, a couple questions. Uh, first off, was was your phone broken? My phone was not broken. The stabilizer was broken, and uh, a couple of um stream cut out like a chunk and a couple of the files were fucking corrupted a couple of actually you know really good conversations that i had that i was excited to put up too but those are the breaks i guess 
now. But yeah, I mean, yeah. They, let they, me they, not they, stabilize they, 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 Is that something you plug into your phone to like get a better picture or something? It's like a gimbal. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know what that is. Yeah. Um. Now, were there charges brought against the uh, the woman for swinging at you? I, I mean, she seemingly hit you. Know. Okay. Now, did she That's actually hit you or did she knock the phone? Was it just your property? Not that that makes it any better necessarily, but I'm just wondering, like, the details. Uh, not, I mean, there weren't any charges made that I know of, and uh, these people tried to lie, like, extensively about this. They tried to say that I grabbed her kid. There's no evidence that I did that. They, yeah, you know, I mean, we could see that that didn't happen. We, but, can, uh, de- we can definitively say that the, the news uh, report was... Yeah, you didn't grab any kids as far as I can see. But let me... Um, what, what I'm asking, though, did she slap you or was it just did she knock the phone out of you? I'm asking, did she, like, physically assault was Did it, she actually assault you or was it? Yeah, did she get slapped? I mean, I mean it's, it's an assault either way. Yeah, 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 yeah I know that. No, yeah, I know true. that. Yeah, 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 I know that. I'm not minimizing what she did. Um, I'm just wondering if you like actually like I hurt her, you know, if she got you across the face or not. Um, yeah, if she actually, uh, yeah, if she slapped my phone, I would be um right back in jail. So yeah, I, I gotta say, um, now that's why I don't go out to things <laughs> where I might yeah, uh, I, I, get, get targeted reason, like that. But yeah, go ahead. I'm reconsidering uh, continuing doing this that much unless I have like a freaking crew with me. I mean, I might just stay home and like comment on stuff like you know Tim Pool or whatnot. Now um, I I um so I went out uh, the other day and I'm you know known or whatever online, but I don't make myself known really in the community uh, with what I do, um, and so I went out and I covered all that and I was uploading and talking shit on Twitter the whole time, uh, but I didn't. As far as anybody in the crowd knew, I was just a regular person walking around. You know, I was on their side for all they knew, um, and was just filming. Um, so that's how I did it uh, a week or two ago here in Richmond. Any of them or anything like that, or say what? You never like engaged or debated no, with any of them? No, no, not at all, <laughs> not at all. Um, now, I mean, I could have done that, but there were like, I don't know, a thousand to two thousand people out there, and it was. Um, at least openly, like a hundred percent, and like pro taking the statue down. So, um, oh, right. that would have been a yeah, bad. That would probably been a bad mistake. One guy got his ass whooped uh, in the middle of it already. So, you know, no, I think discretion is the better part of valor uh, in that situation. But uh, I mean, I definitely probably could have got some good content if I didn't catch a charge or something. <laughs> but uh, now, tell us about the fallout. What happened with the bands and stuff? Oh, yeah. I mean, now there's like an Antifa, like Google Docs page saying like, hey, everybody go report down all of this stuff. Here's here's links to all of this stuff. And there's, uh, you know, they got my Patreon taken down. They got my uh, store taken down. They got my mailing list taken down. I'm banned off of Twitter. I got a 30 day on Facebook or my Facebook page is banned. Um, yeah, I feel like my YouTube is imminently going to get the axe just like a lot of people. But uh yeah, and, and I uh, I also tried to call in to the news director of WISN, and I tried to talk to that crazy fuck. That's that's a video I have up, too, if you're interested in watching that. Uh, it was fucking, these people, the people, the people that run your media are utterly psychotic. Let's just put it that way. Um, <laughs> Ralph yeah, and I were actually uh, just talking about that earlier today. Yeah, I was just saying, I have... a certain kind of person that... Uh... <laughs> of that, I have no doubt, sir. All right, let's take a, let's take a, by the way, I think you're not using headphones, are you? I'm not, no, right. but I have... It's okay. It's, it, I just hear it every once in a while when I talk too loud. Uh, for the most part, it's worked okay. Usually that's a death sentence uh, for the uh, for the old audio there. But all right, now let's um, take in Based Alaska. Sir, I ate the salmon the other day, and it was delicious. All right, well. Based, are you there, buddy? He's well, dead. Yeah. Oh, there, oh, oh, there he, he just, was. There uh, he was. Go ahead, sir. You're back. You're back, Based. You're back. Go ahead, hey, buddy. I just had a long day at work getting effed around in every which way. Who I just I just started listening. Who is the guy that's been dealing with this stuff? Who's the YouTube it's guy? A, Durst the worst. Durst, how you oh, doing, no way. Durst. Oh, my gosh. I've been following him for years. Damn. Well, that sucks. Wow. Well, he's here you asking know. the question. I mean, he's still on YouTube. It's not all over. Damn. Don't don't well, be so sad. Yeah. Well, Durst, uh, I really appreciate uh, all the footage that you've been bringing up about uh, Wisconsin. It's kind of crazy how leftism has uh, infected the great white north, you know what I mean? I used to live in Appleton, and 
back in the day, and you never would have seen this stuff. It's uh, not the great white north any longer, that's for sure. <laughs> right. There was this other guy, like Airliner Worlds and more. There's this like uh, gay black guy that hates Antifa from like Portland, and right. he was getting like Antifa showing up to his house and all this other stuff. Or have you been dealing with the same thing? I uh, know, but what's really unsettling is that there's been literally seven uh, Mar- George Floyd agitations in uh, close proximity to my neighborhood. So, like straight up, like several. You know what I mean? And one of them, one of them, they were actually waving. A, this one chick was on top of her car, waving her gun around. You know, with no trigger discipline, of course. So, yeah. yeah, that's the kind of fuck to deal with to kind of see your uh, your area go to shit. You know what I mean? And pe- people in the town like actively uh, cheering it on too. Oh, and yeah, you're you're right. I mean, the great the uh, the Midwest is kind of succumbing to this. Like, the, the rest of Wisconsin is pretty fucking cool to live in. I mean, like Milwaukee and Madison are really the only socialist le- liberal leftist shitholes. But uh, that that those are the cities that the conservatives keep running from. They don't really hold them down. You know, those are the cities that they they flight from as whites. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's a kind of a leadership issue because the people that we've been voting for 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 the longest time, and especially with the uninitiated politics people, they don't really understand what's going on, and then they see this stuff, and you know they're just like, oh, just leave us alone. We won't have to worry about this. These are just some crazy fanatics off somewhere. And then five years hey. later, look at where we're at now. Hey, yeah, like at the beginning of the show, I was talking about how like that, back when I first started doing this, I kind of was downplaying it even myself like i knew that they were fucking dangerous but i thought we were winning i guess but um it's it's just not that way you know they're they're freaking dangerous and uh they're an ascendant movement with a lot of funding and i think that that gets that doesn't get enough emphasis on these stream shows is how much corporate funding these fuckers get oh we yeah. talk about it every just about every episode we talk about how uh like act blue george soros adl splc all these groups they just funnel shit loads of money into these activists and if that doesn't work then they just straight up start posting on places like craigslist looking for uh looking for right. agitators right right yeah that's scary shit man very nice. scary shit and, and it was you know Based Alaska man, thank you for calling in because I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna try to take a couple more calls so we wrap this. Uh, but I wanted to tell yeah. you the the salmon was excellent, dude. Thank you. Did you make the cream cheese dip? No, nah, I didn't. I just had I just <sighs> had it regular. I had salmon sandwich right. on rye actually instead. It was really good. All right, all right. Yeah, the Cajun the Cajun one was good, huh? Yeah, it was really good. Um, and yeah, I wanted to do the dip, but uh, I just I'd already thought it out. And I didn't have all the shit. It's like all right, I'm just gonna make a sandwich. So, uh, yeah, yeah it was really I good. I definitely feel that. Yeah. Thank you, man, so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah. No problem, guys. All Peace. Right, you, have, you have a good one, sir. I right. hope, hope his day goes better for sure. Yeah, man. Pep up, man. Come on. Uh, let's see. Ludwig von Neon says, what's the point in trying to reason with morons? Well, yeah, I thought that. That's a good sir. question. <laughs> see, I want to answer that. I want to answer that. There, there is none. But what's important is showing the normies and the uninit- uninitiated what the fuck's going on. Because I run into way too many people who either have no idea that this shit's going on or they downplay it. Like, like dude said before, Appleton dude said before, uh, they, you know, they, oh, that's just a couple fringe college kids on a campus somewhere. No big deal. You know, that, that's what we were doing for four to seven years during this BLM crap. And now look at where we are. We didn't push back enough. We, 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 oh, there's triggered snowflakes. Oh, no, no. They're heavily funded street thug mobs, you know? Yeah, you know what? I actually, I think what you said there, and of course, you know, I played a role in this too, I guess you could say, and a lot of people, um, and it was more of a, oh, you know, these leftist weirdos. And we still do it. I mean, they are weird, a lot of these people. Uh, but it was more, maybe it should have had a more of a serious tone center, um, at least more consistently. Like, oh, okay, it's not just a gang of fucking creeps and weirdos. It's uh, like these people are coming and they're coming hard and they're backed by everybody you hate. So, um, right. I mean, I fucking, I, I participated in that too. Like, oh, hashtag triggered, wrecked, wrecked feminist videos. Ha ha ha. This is fun. We're winning. No, we weren't winning. <laughs> we were, we were not winning at all. And again, you know? you know what? I'm just sitting here thinking, oh, I shouldn't have even said hate. Like, I didn't mean hate, hate, uh, whatever. That's, that's how bad it is now, though. That after I said that, I was like, oh, I really shouldn't have said the word hate. Like, some people are going to take that too literally. It's, it's, that's how fucking pathetic it is. And it makes me angry, but that's, 
the state of play. Dark Butters, go ahead, man. Good evening, Ralph. Good evening, Gator. How you guys doing? Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, so, Ralph, if you will have me on the karaoke stream, I have picked a song already. All right, oh, why really? not? I guess I'll let you on. Well, thank you, sir. You, don't All have, right, you usually uh, don't have the minimum enough uh, followers, but I'll let you on. Oh, next. I see. Not enough cloud. <laughs> don't you don't have to put me on the card, okay? Just let me sing when the time comes. That's all, sir. <laughs> I'll let you sing. Go ahead. <laughs> um, it's a shame. I, I thought we were going to get Spencer and ca the captain to sing Ebony and uh, Ivory. That would have well, been legendary. The Spencer thing fell through. Uh, Ricada's confirmed. It looks like Augie's going to be here. Um, I see negative XP. Let me see. Yeah, he hasn't responded fully, but he put a blame up as a response in Twitter DMs, which I'm going to take as a good sign, but we'll see. He hasn't confirmed yet. Um, that would be pretty cool if we got him on here. He was one of the funnier guests we've had. Uh, I think he was on earlier in the year, uh, this year. Um, so we'll see if he comes on to actually sing, which is what he does normally. All right, go ahead. Oh, yeah, and so... Uh, first thing, Durst. Uh, when you're dealing with children, man, you can't try to reason with them. You gotta, you gotta be careful. These people are just children in adults' bodies. Be careful, man. You can get hurt out there. You know, you can get arrested. You could lose a lot more than just, you know, you know, black eye or something. It, it can get worse. Yeah, I've definitely been bum rushed, or swung on, had my property damaged. You know, it's all, it's all happened. And you know, it is getting to a point where, like I said, I'm heavily considering just chilling at home and doing like you know obs commentary content not doing this you know like spurgy dangerous on the street stupid there's shit you know there's it, no shame it, in that really, it, it's not winning any new people over i don't think i think the people that are won over the people that we had to expose this to uh, for the most part are online but you know there's really not much more we could do i don't think well, well, Durst, those people are at work when those people are out protesting. They're not in the streets. You know, those guys are working a job or something. They actually you know, have things that they have to care about. Where they don't want to burn right. the system down. Um, actually, Ralph, I did want to talk about some sports ball stuff, if you're okay with that. Yeah, quickly, because I got to I got to wrap this. Go ahead. I got you. Well, you got your quarterback for 10 years. Wow. As soon as he talked about. That's all. You can sunset me, sir. Wait, you cut out as soon as you said that. Like I couldn't. I, you said I you know said you're uh, Des Deshaun Jackson was begging for forgiveness because he uh, quoted a certain, uh, you know, former German uh, leader. Oh yeah, you know what? I meant to bring that <laughs> up. I By the way, my thing skipped. I guess I hope the stream didn't skip, uh, but my shit skipped. Uh, yeah, I did see that. Of course, I saw the Mahomes news and I was thrilled. Even if, I mean four hundred million, but I knew he was going to get something crazy like that. Worth it, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, Deshaun Jackson was quoting Minister Farrakhan, uh, and, uh, I think some quotes from Hitler, maybe I'm not sure if it was a Hitler quote, but a Hitler sentiment perhaps, and they've been dragging him all over Twitter. One might say, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's big on the third down. You could say, I guess. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate you calling <laughs> Good night, Ralph. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good one. Uh, I was reaching for that one, but I got it. I finally was stumbling around the dark, but I grabbed it. All right, go ahead, Aaron Shadows, quickly, sir, unless you want to come back and talk after the guest. Okay, well, he left, so. Oh, or not. Okay. <laughs> I guess that answers it. Southern Dingo, go ahead, sir. Last caller for this segment. Oh, awesome. Ralph, how are you doing tonight, buddy? I'm doing great. I'm glad to hear it, dude. That makes my night. Gator, what about you, bud? Doing all right, man. Doing all right. I fucking knew it. You sound like you're a chipper son of a bitch. All right, so your guest, <laughs> hey, um, it's it's nice to talk to you, my guy. I, I I got respect for the balls it takes to go out and do what you you know you did. I want to ask you a couple of questions, and these might seem like trolley questions, but all my mama's life they're not. Um, they're leading to a final question. Okay, are do not that it matters, but are you in any part or way, shape, or form Jewish? Me? Yes, you. Dingo, why would that why? be your opening question? No, it doesn't I just, matter. I'm just, I'm, I'm just. Asking. What if it doesn't matter? Why would you start? Why would you ask him that? I, I, but I just, I just explained it. I said this isn't trolling. I said these, qu these two questions. Of are going to lead to my final question. Okay. They're going to lead to. Okay, I'd like to answer the question. I mean, well, uh, I know, honestly, but it's just um, tell that to Ralph. D Dingo, I'm you look. Kidding. It does. I won't explain <laughs> to you why that's not a great look. But anyway, go ahead, sir. Yeah, answer the question if you'd like. Oh, I, you know, I, I, a lot of my past is actually kind of a mystery. I, I don't know the dad side of my family for all the fuck I know. Once I get my, I haven't gotten my genetics test in, but we'll find out. The jury's still out on that. But as far as I know, uh, I am not uh, 
of any sort of uh, Jewish persuasion. Okay, yeah, no. You're you're definitely not Jewish. They're like Jedi. They seek out the youngsters. They would have got you by now. Second question, uh, not that it matters again. This does not matter either. But is your girlfriend like is your girlfriend white or or whatever? Oh my girlfriend white. Uh... Dingo, why, why are you pulling okay. this out? Because I'm, because I'm gonna, of one line. Because everything. he didn't like sig Heil, sig Heil earlier or no, something dude. like. What is it? I have, like, I have no I have no oh. problem with this guy. If you just let me talk to him, I promise. I'm this is a friendly talk. Okay. Is your girlfriend white. I don't understand, like, I, I'm, I'm in Spurg mode, I guess, right? Now. I don't understand these memes or what's going on. Dude, dude, dude all my, oh, listen to me. Listen to me. Please, listen. Take me seriously on my mom's life. These are not Spurg troll questions. It's a simple yes or no, and then I got a final question. Go ahead. Is your girlfriend white? I don't have a GF. Okay, that's that's cool. And I'll, I'll explain now why I asked. I just wanted to ask if you had any kind of, like, reasons to, to not do what I'm about to ask you. Now, you're, you said your Patreon's been taken down. They called you a racist. They've been accusing you of things you didn't do and say, right? Um, you know that they're anti-white already. Why not just go ahead and come on our side and be full-on, like, just advocate for your own people's interests? Because you can't win this argument with these people. It's not that they're dumb. I mean, they are dumb, but that's not the problem. It's that they're pro, like, whatever race they are. They're anti-white, and they're pro themselves. The only way you win that argument is being pro-white and doing your your logical argument because logic alone does not beat these people so why not just join me bro be pro white like me why not why, why the fuck not what do you got to lose uh, i'm not really sure i mean it, I, i'm not sure it's what i believe in i guess it's that simple you know i what? think that uh, what do you mean i don't know i mean i'm i mean i'm pro-american i don't know i'm fucking you know those people you argue with are american, american. The, the woman that assaulted you is an right? american Tap. dude come on I said the woman that assaulted you is an American. What, is, what does that even mean? Uh, it's a disparate faction of sorts. Uh. <laughs> no, dude, no. listen. I, I know that you're trying to play the optic game, but let me just – coming from a family member, we are family. We're white, okay? You have nothing to gain by staying on this fence-sitting path. Be pro-white. They're going to call you racist anyways, and the only way the world makes sense is if you understand that everybody operates on ethnic and racial – collective bases and that that's that's why like muslims who in the middle east throw gays off roofs that's why gays and muslims in this country vote at, a, at the same rate at like 91 92 percent vote for the same stuff because their collective identity is not white like dude just fucking be pro-white man you don't have to you don't have to like not advocate for your own anymore it is insane for you to say that you don't know if you believe in being pro your own people like imagine a wolf who's like you know i don't think i really give a fuck about wolves that oh, wolf needs to be put down because he's crazy. Just be normal. Bro, think about all the goddamn awfuls out there. Dude, a lot of white people really make me sick. <laughs> I, I, no, 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 no. no. I, I, didn't say every, I didn't say every... Listen, listen. Ralph, don't laugh at that. That's not funny. That's I didn't say every white person is great. Girl, <laughs> no, it's not. Them. That's a terrible... Ter that's not an argument. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking... Uh, uh, what what step and follow are you? That's not no, an you're argument. Not. Dude, what you're going to do is wrap up your call because you're not going to take another 10 minutes. Go ahead no, okay, and finish okay. your point. Dude, listen... I'll listen, listen to him. Dude, hey, can I talk, dude? Or no? Yeah, dude, yeah, ahead. please answer me. I'll shut up. Okay, so, I mean, mo I, I just have this overwhelming feeling that most white people are just in favor of this BLM crap. You know? And once, once they're possessed by that, I don't know how to get through to them. Like, a, a lot of callers have already said, like, why even reason with these people? Uh, I don't think, I don't know. I, I, think, it, I think disassociating uh you know, might be the best course of action just for myself. I guess the term the term people have used is white flight, but I use the word disassociate. Um, All right. Hello. Okay. Yeah, well, okay, can, I, can, I, can I please say? A, I, yes. I thought you weren't done. I'm sorry. I was trying to just not interrupt you, guy. I wanted to give you plenty of time. But like, I understand what you're saying. And yes, there's a lot of white people who do the pro BLM thing. But let me tell you, I see them as victims of brainwashing because they're not allowed. The same reason you're scared to say it, they're not allowed to advocate for their own race. So they're advocating for whatever they can. You know, white people want to have a purpose, blah, blah, blah. And some of them you cannot reach. I agree with you totally. Fuck those kind. Like anti-white white white people are terrible cancer. And I never said all white people are great. But you know damn good and well that you're okay walking down the street in a white neighborhood, but maybe not so much in other types of neighborhoods, right? I'm not going to name them. And this is why you should advocate for your own, because you want a world where you don't have to disassociate. And that world, my friend, because your white is a white one.
Okay. So be pro white. We love you. We're right here. We're your family. I'll talk to you later, bro. You hit me up whenever you're ready to be like Jared Taylor. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Dingo. Love you, Ralph. Yeah. Ralph, you white son of a bitch. Get out of I think, here. Uh, you know, I think, that, I think it's important to, if you <laughs> ever bump into one of the like, brazenly anti-white people, I think it is important to uh, call them out. All um, right. but, th- but other than that, I mean. We love Dingo. Do you disagree with that, Ralph? No, I don't disagree, disagree with that. We that? call it no, we call it out. Caller's gone, but he left. I didn't take him out, by the way. He was done on his own. Um, but uh yeah, I mean I agree with that. I'd talk about that. I don't know that uh I have some stylistic differences with uh the Southern Dingo. I think they're pretty well documented. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I still love them though. Um uh, and th- I love you too, and thank you for coming on the kill stream. So you got anything else you want to promote? Uh, tell people yeah, go ahead and, uh, and plug, stuff. plug what you've got left for sure because I know they're coming after you for everything. Oh, uh, yeah, just check me out on YouTube D U E R S T, the W U E R S T, Dewers the Subscribe Star. I got the Parlor, I got the Gab, you know, the Mines, Bit Shoot, of course, Library. Do you guys got Library yet? Oh, uh, you know what? I haven't, I poked around there, I haven't been on there. There's another place called Brand New Tube that they've been telling me to check out, and they might have a super chat system they're working on is what i was told is a rumor Dude, um, you, guys bringing, you guys bringing a parlor guy on i heard is that true yeah the ceo of parlor john matsey is going to be on this show oh. on thursday night yeah one of the most important things for these new alt text sites for me is do they have a sync feature because i have motherfucking 700 videos right and i'm not about to manually <laughs> upload every single fucking one right i think um yeah, that was the like nice thing me, about BitChute. Right, right, right. They had a sync feature. It's a little buggy. I, I, I hope that they fix it in the future. But um, yeah, that, that's that's something that you know, Parler and you know, Minds and all this stuff probably develop. It's pretty important. All right, you know? now somebody just sent me a joke that I wish I could read out. But thank you, I appreciate that. They know who they are. All right, uh, Durst, man, thank you for coming on the show. I, I had a good time with you. Uh, hopefully, you can come back sometime. Uh, maybe we can just come back as a regular panelist or something like that. I think chat kind of warmed up to you as well. Um, so thank you, man. I'm glad we tried to get you on in Cali, I think, but there was some type of mix up, and we couldn't get you on. So uh, I'm glad we got oh, you on. Man, the chat. Yeah, it's cool. You guys are cool. Thanks for having me on. And uh, yeah, I mean, a spurgy boomer tech moment aside, I think it was a pretty good show. Thank you, so. man. I appreciate you coming on and I appreciate you taking the questions, even if they were, some of them were weird or uncomfortable. And I hope you have a good one, man. Stay safe out there. <laughs> <laughs> Be good, man. You have a good one. All right. Darts the worst. That was pretty fun. Um, I didn't know a lot about this guy going in a little bit. I uh, wasn't totally ignorant, but um never spoke with him before uh he messaged me actually didn't speak with him at all he messaged me he said hey you know i'm about to come on the show in five minutes i said yeah that's cool 